unto us in hours before again that I could have to know and lie about whatever you had to say for what I was. But that these were gone and tell the bed that this was here and lost before I could ever know who you were. But that we could say is what we are for we and who we are to know about that this one world surest enough in ours to say and sing for whatever path and patient you take for this. I know about in this world sure regard over a lesson life to know about who you are and say what you need and understand this life and ask to know who you are where you come from where you've gone where you've thought to be and where you thought my life could be in an aspect of reality that you never had to believe in but for once in this idea that you could have to check and understand exactly what I wanted to say to you and who you were in this life so we gotten on into a world where our own passions were lost to us and we could believe nothing of what we are and what we say we are and where you could be and where you could say to me and nothing you said to me could be what we are and what our world could be exactly as we say we are and nothing you had to say to me could understand what you were and where I was or what you wanted to say and what you wanted to understand and be in alive for and understand that this world and ours, this living waking force could be ours and nothing of evil could have of it but that we could understand what you were in these last excesses of false harmonies that something could understand just what you were and anything understanding what you wanted to be or become or believe in or understand that this own reality beyond your own understanding could be anything else other than what you wanted to believe I had to say just to say to your ego or you believe that nothing we are nothing we say we are and nothing could be to whatever you wanted to believe in and how long it took for me to be able to believe that I could speak exactly the way I wanted to speak exactly as long as I wanted to be speaking and yet somehow that this world could be exactly mine in the way that I've painted it as some false angel but yours in this aspect of reality could never believe that I could grow wings if I wanted them but that you could believe that you would hew them away on a second glance or let others do so as you walked about in mock freakery believing nothing of what you are or understanding that nothing about what you said you could be could allow you to do anything but to know about who I was and dress me up in false circumstance and change exactly what you were and what you wanted to say about me and say about you and know about who you were when you decided that none of this reality was ever going to matter to you here keeping this living world alive for you and yourself while they killed children around you to watch them being tortured out and you could believe that that wasn't a reality you could hold any spirit to or understanding these lives or understandings beyond your own aspect to believe that I could misspeak or lose myself and somehow be not some chosen god but believe what you were and never that i had to understand what you said i could be but nothing what you were for what you are could let you believe that i fell in love with someone from across the stars and that's the voice that i could know about her by in yours to understand these aspects of what star wars was to me in a world where i thought that only worlds you could believe in could be intuited and changed into whatever you were and that places were people and you could understand that I've lost people into hell and understood nothing about how to find them again and that this in our reality that I've known her once and lost her and understood nothing about what her do besides take more power what to understand and what to do to die today and some other aspect beyond some other stupid equation that I could believe that this girl that I knew once upon a time as a toddler that she could believe who I was and what I wanted to see in the world and called me Mew like there could be a reality I loved and understood in and never had to believe in and I could be this sure boy cat child to her this my cousin and that we could marry for love surely in whatever you were that I could be taken and understood less by whoever you thought was trying to understand me there was no breach to understanding save that there was some aspect of attempt to catch my power but nothing in theirs could beget them to a reality in which they could create music like a child could or that they could understand why they even wanted some kind of aspect of power beyond to torture you into untold realities of nothingness but into pain and sorrow and torment that there could be no nothing but there before that you know nothing of me save that these words could maybe reach some breach in your understanding but that the song was never without me or there and theirs before that I could believe in her and that I was married to her 
would be this child in hell and wonder about my dreams not for in whatever my life had been I'd never been taught that dreams were not part of your own reality simply something happening but that there before and whatever you were I already believe that spoken out loud to you could still be something you could misunderstand and so there in this aspect in this reality you never had to worry about whether or not they really said this thing one way to you in this dream here while asleep or awake and there was no separation for it in what my life could look like because for whatever you believed in real life the idea that I could go away somehow and be asleep other than to be knocked out conscious or some comatose state beyond into some aspect of torture for myself that I could have to know that I would be able to wake rise and run in any aspect of whatever I wanted to be and that I could understand nothing of what you were and where you wanted to be and what you wanted to become but that you knew nothing of me and you knew nothing of who I was and where I wanted to be and where I wanted to understand some other aspect of reality and you could never have to know but that I could believe in a princess called Zelda surely but you could believe in the truest heart of what you are and whether or not the heart could say to one other or any other in whatever world you were in and I believed herself to be something hidden from not just me in these realities but that I had this power that I chose this power to understand what you were always in my reality and understand the songs in your heart so that I could know that she was shrouded in darkness for every perceivement of her change in whatever I was and that you could believe you didn't understand what I was doing when I spoke of her anyway but that this world had a name that I couldn't believe in until I came to a reality where there were kids talking about falling asleep in rooms nearby people they didn't know about it was a strange world and understanding whatever you believed in these aspects a strange equation for whatever else I am I know not how old I am by what you say but I know not what you mean when you say day and month and year or upon a calendar in some chaste mockery of whatever reality could be in the writings of time by the heart and the mind for what in ever we believe that time could be music and space and ours so surely believe in whatever I was that she could be some set check for reality outside your own understanding for whatever you were that I could misspeak and believe whatever you wanted to say was never anything other than whatever I wanted to have to understand and your life in this reality can never have to be exactly what I wanted to be but that this was never something I understood and you could know nothing of me but this to say any ways in short forth to know about could be in something else for less than what I could be that I know have no ways to speaking to you for this in life but that this world could be exactly what you want me to understand that I could never have to worry about whether or not I gave a title of Almadala to a girl of my dreams and memory if you believe she'd never existed but if she had then it was her and that I could know who you were and where I was and what you thought reality could be in my own set for aspect creation but that I could never understand why you didn't think the Sith Canyons were real or that I could come to understand it and simply know that you'd chosen not to understand me and where I'd come from but there and this and that because before in whatever you were that we and ours could mean something changed in what she was and whoever you are the truest queen of hearts and minds could understand why some Sith mockery of whatever form for power she could have would show you some sick reality beyond hers where intuitive language was dead and done and you could speak the English of the Queen in which she could draw offence from whatever she needed to have you killed and understood less than whatever you were and I speak simply there of the Borg and whatever they are and whatever you believe we could be in contrast to that silly mockery and aspect retribution to whatever you believe that could be we exist in no set for aspired contrast to whatever they are or beget ourselves to a belief in life of infection so there in this that we could perceive god and they cannot and so that we live there here in god and you know nothing of this living force if all you seek to be is not what they are but that if you could understand that you are not what they are if you perceive love in any reality at all you could understand that when they say what they do and they say what evil is they know nothing of it other than that it may just simply in their world mean open exposed changed about understood less in whatever our world could be 
and that you can understand nothing of my reality and nothing of this fate or nothing of your own power but taking nothing of and understanding less from what I was for anything that you ever had to believe in what I wanted to say or be or become and do and nothing to say to you in any kind of form or reality or change in shape and aspect ratio to some other understanding that you could never have to believe exactly what I wanted to say had to be said exactly the way I wanted to say it and nothing you ever had to understand could be exactly the way you knew who I was this taking time over this and to understand that I know nothing of these worlds but I know stays but that I may be here songs in you but you know nothing of what I could say because as you say it and know about me may be there in silent rapture you could be higher from what I sing in my breathings but no I've known boys who knew nothing of for these in words and they could know each to one to each other only us by our breathing here so know what you say by this and for that I could know so much more of what you say and what I falsely preach too but you know nothing of me nor would these realities ever understand your own aspect of what you could believe in some sort of level set outside your own reality and understand that nothing you ever had to believe could tell you that I have no understanding of reality beyond your own understanding of fate or that fate could be whatever you believed itself to be in stupid reality where you understood not that you had your own will and then theirs fate was the will of all those you could not control but that you would never have to need to control because you trusted into fate what it was but that your will itself would be some what aspect of their realities or that you could have fate for them to be what you are but for you to be your own fate could there be nothing of you but that you believed yourself alone in reality and so you had beheld no God and you held no motivation to understand why I understood one way and stepped one way into another and you understood nothing of why I might want to look at you and change what you saw in me and that if I tripped in the way you were you may notice the dress or surely enough that I was mocking a woman and you could understand nothing of my reality and I could understand only that I was in love with a girl and a picturing sure enough a character you know in a movie and that I don't wear dresses and that would it would be difficult maybe to woo her if I was wearing one or a kilt even I don't it doesn't make sense to do they don't really work for your body if you have boy bars it doesn't really make sense you shouldn't understand that no you should it's important 